Hello and welcome to my new series. If you watched the previous video, you have um, found out that we are expecting. So I will be trying to do different updates every six weeks to let you know how I'm feeling, how the baby is, and um, just pretty much update every six weeks to let you guys know. I do apologize if the noise, like if it's that going in here. I'm filming in my glam room and it's really, really small. I'm working on um, finding a different way or a different place to film but until now this will have to do and this is the zero to six weeks video this is the first one hopefully i get better at these as time goes along as far as more informative i kind of want to keep it short and sweet so we're gonna go ahead and get into it i actually took notes you see me looking at my phone it's because i have notes i do take notes or make notes around my cycle time um, with the app called ovia I was keeping up with my cycles and all of my symptoms through this app and today I'm actually six weeks and six days tomorrow will be my seventh week mark in case you guys did not um, see the other video you should head on over there and see it but I did find out on August 14th I believe I found out on August 14th um, Yes, August 14th, and the very first time that I started having symptoms was, I guess you can call it week three. I had cramps from like a Monday to a Saturday or a Sunday, and that's not really normal for me, and I had cramps like, not all day, but of course I had them every day, and they were like the cramps like I was getting ready to start, but I usually do not um, have cramps for like a week straight, maybe three or four days before I start and maybe the day of and I always get this leg pain or whatever but anyways it cramped, I cramped for like six to seven days in a row to the point where I had to get out my heating pad and I was thinking hmm, something's not right but you know how mom plays tricks on us so I was I just rooted it off as a symptom because I felt like my symptoms changed every time my cycle came I had different symptoms but um, I'm just like oh whatever it's my cycle getting ready to come I was just thinking it's about to come with a hell of a bang but that wasn't it obviously you know what I also did notice in week three like one of the days one of my co-workers was telling a story and it just like touched me I don't know but I just immediately start tearing up and I'm like why am I crying I'm not the crying type really unless something really doesn't go my way but I was like why am I crying but um yes like I cried during week three but like again I wasn't thinking of I was just like I thought the, the story really touched me, which it did, but obviously it was more to that. Yeah, I just had week three, I had cramping for like a week straight, um, and then I was emotional, I cried. On August 14th, the day, the day that I was, before I was supposed to start my cycle, I decided to test because yes, we were trying, so I always liked to test the day before I was supposed to start my cycle so I can know if I should prepare or not. So I did test, and it was a really, really faint line, and if I find a clip, I'm going to insert it. I decided to take a test this morning and look, I don't know if this means that I'm pregnant or what. I mean, it got to mean it, I guess, but it's really light. So I'm going to have to take another one. But yes, um, it was a really, really um, faint line and it was with first response. And I was just like, wait a minute, this may be TMI, I don't know. Let me tell you this is right now. Majority of my building, my videos may be TMI, but hey, we're all grown and this is y'all wanna know the tea, so this is how it's gonna be. But yes, when I peed on the stick, I sat there for maybe three minutes and I looked at it and it was nothing. So I'm like, okay. So I started to get ready and then something told me to hold it up like to the light. And it was a really, really faint line. And I'm like, okay, I don't know if this means positive. I know it's hard to get a false positive, but I'm like, okay, maybe I'm tripping, I'm tripping. So when my homegirls, they went and got a test for me on lunch and I took two of them. <laughs> no, I took one on lunch. I ended up taking another one at lunch. And I'm like, okay, let me see. But it was like one of those 88 cent cheap Walmart ones. And it took maybe over five minutes for any type of line to come. But then a really, really faint line came over the time. Of course, it was before the 10 minute mark that they suggested that you should read. 
but um it took a while for it to come so i'm like okay i don't know if this is what this means by the end of that day i was like okay Antoinette, you need to quit being in denial you are pregnant but i just couldn't believe it like i don't know why i had to take but in long story short i took five tests before i just believed it the last one was a digital and um of course i believed it believed it after i took that digital and um i was just so overwhelmed like with i mean i was happy but then i was like i, I don't my feelings were so mixed at that time i didn't know what to think all i immediately just started doing was trying to figure out ways to tell my husband but um yeah that's just pretty much um it for week three and four three i was cramping week four was me finding out which i didn't really have any symptoms i probably cried again that week but that was it um so that was week three and four okay so week five what i ended up doing after i actually confirmed my pregnancy actually with my test my pregnancy test i downloaded ovia pregnancy i would believe week five is when i started to get a lot of nipple soreness or um tender breasts um and it came just out of nowhere it was just like really tender for the whole week five um i started to feel like waves of nausea but nothing too bad it was just like a little here and there where it actually had me sick and guessing wait a minute was that nausea i don't know so week five i did have the sore breast um i also had like off and on cramping and it kind of had me worried because again if anybody else like my last pregnancy was 11 years ago <laughs> so i was really worried i'm like Ugh, am i supposed to be cramping and you know doctors they usually don't see you until your eight weeks so you're just like in this you have all these questions and you're just like i don't know in this little I don't even know how, like you're in this bubble where you're just wondering if everything is right. So I had a lot of anxiety week five because I just didn't know if I was supposed to cramp, if that was a sign of it still implanting. I, I just didn't know what to think. I did a lot of Googling and it was just like that week five was, you know, normal for cramping. Um, but I did have less cramping. I, I didn't have as much as I did for week four, but it was some cramping here and there. And it was like in my right lower abdomen. Um, and when I, when I did look that up, they said that that could have been the round ligament pain. I don't know if it was too early for that, but I mean, that's just what kept coming up when I was, um, Googling the, the symptoms that I were having for that pain. Um, week six, which is of course this week. Um, I'm very, very bloated. Actually, I was bloated on week five as well. Really, really bloated. I'm like, am I showing? I feel like I'm too, of course, my baby is like the size of a, as of today, my baby is the size of a small blueberry. I like week five, I think they said the baby was like a size of a, a lentil, like a lentil bean, a small bean or whatever. And I'm like, I know that the baby is too small for me to be showing, but my stomach was really, really big. And again, I Googled and it was just like, it's you're very bloated. And that's indeed what I am. Like I am at the point where I have a complex about walking around people because I feel like they know. Um, because of course we haven't told anyone. Probably by the time you watch the other video, you will see that we have told people. Um, but at least as of today, we have not told anyone other than I told close friends but have not revealed it to our family yet. So I've kind of been in high with it. I will show you guys a shot of it. But I, I have always had like a little belly, but it wasn't this big, of course. Yeah, I really think that's it. Like sometimes I don't feel pregnant, sometimes I do, but the main things that makes me know that i am is that i do get those waves of nausea and i do have to eat so i try to eat as soon as i wake up and try to eat small meals every two um hours or something just to even avoid that feeling of being nauseous because i just do not want to experience morning sickness i have not really yet like i haven't vomited i just have these waves of nausea where i'm like mm, i need to eat on something or i might just feel bad for a few minutes but it goes away so let's just pray that that's the way it remains my next video will be weeks seven through um 12 i think i want to do 7 through 12 um because that would end the first trimester so i will do um a second half of the first trimester update um i hope you like these videos I, like i said i will get better at giving these updates i'm quite sure they will become more interesting as i get further down the line but i will show you um my baby bumps whatever this is We technically just got off a plane like an hour ago, so I have not ate yet, so 
it's even bigger when I eat. So I try to give, take my shots when I haven't ate to kind of give the true shot. But yes, it's like a little bloat bump. I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, it's there. And I have a complex about it right now. I just feel real fat because right now that's how I look because I'm not just really showing. But yes, I'm, this concludes this video. If you'd like to see more of these, please comment down below or give me ideas that you would like to see um, in this journey of our pregnancy. I'm, we really are excited. Um, my first doctor's appointment is next Tuesday. We will get a chance to see the baby. and It just kind of confirms it and completes everything. And, um, yes, so please subscribe if you have not and hit the bell notification so you will be notified of when I do have an update or any video that we upload. I really enjoy giving you guys these updates because I feel like it's kind of like my video diary. I get a chance to talk to people about my symptoms and how I'm feeling and I did a lot of Googling um, to listen to other people and their feelings and stuff so I know that this will be... Um, it, this will be helpful for some people and some of it will be kind of redundant but hey I like again I just hope you like and please tune in for the next video I will be consistent about these videos because it's actually something that I'm able to take you along in this journey I'm really excited in doing it and it's things that are kind of interesting me so we will have things to film on our vlog for a while which is exciting and if you have any questions leave those down below as well I hope you guys are excited for us as we are excited it is my husband's first child and I know that um he would be a great father I mean he is to LJ but as far as you know it is different when it's biological he's actually there from the beginning to whatever but I um welcome all prayers for me and the baby and my husband because I know <laughs> that it's gonna be difficult dealing with me I've already caught so many attitudes from him already and I'm going to come up with the name of my baby series if you have some suggestions for the baby series names please give me some so I'm gonna try to come up with some so it can be like a series of my updates and other things this channel is pretty much going to be pertaining to our family our growing family that's not the only interesting thing that's going on with our family right now. So, other than that, it's work. So, you guys don't want to come along with me in that. But, yes, again, like I'm trying to end this video. But, again, please subscribe, like, hit the bell notification, comment down below. And please stay tuned for our next video. And if you haven't seen the other video, most likely I will upload that, that one before this to actually announce, you know, that we're expecting. So, please head over there and see that video. I'm quite sure it's heartwarming. I haven't filmed it yet, but I know it will be. <laughs> Alright, bye y'all.